to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today we're going to do something for the first time or I'm going to do something for the first time is using a corrector palette to correct some things on my face and I've never used anything like this before I don't know actually why but I'm very excited to try this palette this is the Revolution Ultra Base Corrector Palette and it's got corrector and it has a nice mirror and all the shades that you need creams for correcting the things on the face and uh, if you want to see me doing that please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe so I zoomed you in so you see what's happening and let's take back my hair this training bag it matches my blouse so I don't really know what color is for what or what shade is for what so I'm reading on the 10 beauty page description of from, um, of this palette and not really what to do but let's start with taking down this redness on my face my pimples and acne I don't know I feel like my tummy or my face is, skin is very stressful I still don't know why so let's natural redness. Green. Let's use green for my acne or breakouts. Call on what you want. And I think I'm gonna use a brush. I have my beauty blender ready too. But let's just use this brush. Which color? Green. It was green. And we are going to take this hangover from Too Faced. Smells coconut. This is the smell I really like and enjoy. that all over the face so green to cover red spots on my face it covers nice but I'm kind of afraid if, if it's going to show under my foundation I think I will need to blend this a little bit more with my beauty blender Okay, orange neutralized blue tones and I think I have a little bit of purple and blues under my eyes so let's wipe off this green from my brush and take go into a purple no orange and which one is orange uh, this one I think am I colorblind or something This is so creamy. Now I'm going to blend this with my beauty blender now. Let's start with green, just a little bit. I don't know if you're supposed to do that but I feel like I need to. Okay, then we're going to use the cream to use my finger. Okay, this looks nice. So right now, let's see if I can use more shades. I think we're ready with, for the foundation and for the foundation I'm going to use my favorite 
one of my favorites of course and it's Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation and this is in Fresco 2C3 I never used face corrector because I was afraid that it's going to show under my foundation so I won't be able or I will look funny with oranges and green shades colors under my foundation I thought like everybody is going to stare at me and say look she has put something weird on her face I love this foundation I don't think I say it to enough Oh yes I do. Let me just say that I would die if they stop making this foundation, really. This is the best foundation ever. And I'm not the only one thinking that. So don't judge me. Okay, I think this looks good. Well yeah, I'm enjoying the foundation, it's full coverage. But I don't see any greens or purples or pinks under it. And um, I think my face looks bright and more open and awake and I really enjoy this palette. It's not too pigmented. I did swatch correctors, I never used them but I did swatch them and many of them swatched too heavy and they swatched too thick and too pigmented and I don't know if that's good. I know many people like correctors and use those products but I was afraid, like I said before, that it will show under my foundation. You know, sometimes my foundation do fade during the day and I was always afraid that it's going to come out a little bit, the correctors, so everybody would see it, so I never use it. But this isn't too pigmented, it not, it's very good, it blends very nice, it's very creamy, it's not that crazy pigmented, but it does do the job. So I'm really enjoying this. And I'm going to use Laura Mercier powder, setting powder, to set my under eye. To give you my full thoughts, I really enjoy this palette and it's very creamy, very nice and very soft. Let me just swatch this pink one. Can you see? And it's very creamy and easy to blend. And let me take this yellow one. So here. That's a bad swatch, but you know what I mean. I had to play with this a little bit more to give you my full thoughts, but right now I do enjoy my first impression with this palette and first time using corrector I do like it I do like it and I definitely can see myself using it often because my face looks flawless right now and uh, well, ah, that was it thank you so much for watching I hope this video was a little bit helpful I will put the link down below if you want to see more information about this palette and where you can purchase it and how much it costs uh, that was everything I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!